Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sankey 84 and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So, last time we got to Venice, we got through the catacombs and we found the tomb of one of the Crusader Knights. Today, we're going to carry on and enjoy the story that is before us. So, let's open this grate up and carry on, shall we? So, out we go and open the manhole cover up. And up we go. Dr. Jones! I've been looking all over for you. Indy! Marcus! I found out where your father is. He's being held captive in the Brunwald Castle on the Australian-German border. Great! And I found out where the Grail is. It's in Iskendron. Of course, Iskendron! Marcus, why are you all wet? Don't ask. Okay, I'll rescue Dad. You meet me in Iskendron. Sure! No trouble. I'll be off now. Uh, where is Iskendron? <laughs> and here we are, I'll go scout. Alright, I'll stay in the car. I'll come back in a few minutes. Right, so we are at the German castle now. So let's go inside and see what's in store. Hello? And who might you be? Right, um, We could go and follow the film, but you know what? Now let's go for something different. Are you the one with the relatives in town? My nephew Otto in Salzburg, is something wrong? No, he's fine, but you need to go to him immediately. Just a minute, sir. How can I be sure that you actually know Otto? Um, um, yeah, trust me. I'm afraid I'll need more than your word. I have nothing else to offer but my hand. Boop! Quick pop, and he's down. Right. So now, let's do a quick save, because we're in a new area. Okay, so now we're in the castle, let's have a nosy around, shall we? But before we do, meanwhile, elsewhere in the castle. Sir, you sent for me? Yes. I want you to protect that priceless painting we just acquired. Priceless? But it's just a painting of an old cup. Silence! The Fuhrer is very interested in it. Do you dare to question the Fuhrer's judgment? No, sir. Then leave me and return to your post. Yes, sir. Okay. Right, let's have a nosy around, shall we? So let's have a quick walk through here and you'll see just like in the catacombs we have got a top down view and I've kind of come the wrong way. First we want to go up this way. And what we need to do is just check out all the rooms just to make sure there's nothing in that we may need. And if we have a look at this tapestry here, doesn't see, no I said look at it. It looks kind of ratty. Dad wouldn't like it. Okay, thanks Indy. Right, so nothing in here. And if we move around we can see our line of sight does change. What is really good, especially for a game this old. So many times games, especially with the top down view, will just give you the full map. 
So, if you come here, we'll start with the bottom one. And we've got a drunk guard. Hello, my good friend. Hello, and how are you? Terrible, I've run out of ale. Okay, maybe I can get you another drink. Thank you. Here, take my beer stein. Right, as you saw there, I know I went through that a little bit quick, but you'll see that when you get to talk to people, you can offer them stuff, or you can throw a punch and start a fight if you don't want to talk your way through. But it's always best to try and talk your way through if you can. Right, so let's use the stein now with the keg. But instead of taking it back to him, we're going to use it on the coals, so we can now put out the coals. And the steam is going to disappear in a moment. Any moment now. How about now? Gonna go now. Or maybe now? How about now? There we go, finally, right. So that's gone now and we can pick up the ball. Because we're going to need that later on. Nothing through here, but we'll still have a nosy anyway, because, well, why not? And then quickly pop out the door. Yeah, nothing in here, didn't think so. And out. Check the final room, just to make sure we've checked everywhere. And nothing in here. It's another empty room, but we can look out the window and we can still see the storm. Okay, very nice. So now let's head back to the other side. Now we've got the bore, what we're going to need later on. So head back into the hallway. And there's two guards on this side, so we have to be careful. We can talk our way through them. So let's see how we do. Let's see if we can, right, let's see if we can get into this room quickly. Yes, we got him. That's nice. Doesn't really matter because either we fight him or we talk our way through. But we'll pick up the servant's uniform. And nope, I didn't want to use it. I was meant to look at that. Never mind. Okay, let's put in these stuff back on. Because each floor requires yes. Each floor requires a different thing to wear. So on the bottom floor you need if you want to talk your way through that is, you need to have Indies uniform on and the second floor you need the servant and the top floor you need the grey one but we can't get the grey one yet because if we try picking it up it's locked okay so if we try and open it we need a key so we need to go and find a key so we head back out and nope he caught us never mind are you here on official business now if you remember Right at the beginning when we visited Henry's house, we picked up a painting. So if we go off at the, an item now, and we go up to the top and offer him the painting. No, okay. It's not the painting, right, which one was it? I'm sure there's an item you give him. Let me just have a look. Um, oops. No, it's not that one. Never mind that. Come up that minute. Right. Let's see if we can talk our way past him then. Um, ah, maybe it's timing. Okay. Yeah. Out my way, I have a message for the Colonel. What is the message and who are you? Um, glad you asked. I've got to try and remember, it's been that long. Uh, conducting a test of security. Mm. Nope, never mind, we got that one wrong. Right. I can't remember now a lot of the 
sequences you used to say to get through. I'm going to have to try and remember them. I know what the next one, that one's, because that was my favourite. Always has been and probably always will be. So, yeah. The next one I don't have to worry about. But this one, we'll just quickly give him a few punches. And one more. Below the belt and he's down. And uh, we did lose a bit of health, but we should gain most of that back. Right, now he's down. Let's just quickly check the other two rooms, make sure there's nothing in here that we've missed. Don't believe there is, but I don't think we can get out these windows. Nope. Yeah, ground floor windows you can't get out of. But the next room, you do want to go into it. Because that will make it easier later on. So, we're going to get brought in here later on. But just to make sure, you know, it's... We're not going to kill ourselves. Give it a quick push. The axe will fall. And there we go. Nice little mark in the ground. And that will stay there until later on. Next, if we just give this statue a little push. There we go. Secret entrance. And we probably could leave right now. But we're not going to. But we've got this room set up now for later on. So let's head around and do my favourite encounter. Uh, uh, in this game, and probably most of them. You, in that leather jacket, what are you doing here? Hi, I'm selling fine leather jackets, like the one I'm wearing. Jacket? What? Who let you in here? I got authorization. How else would I get here? Well, that's true enough. I'm watching the jackets. just love how gullible this guard is. I wish more guards were like this in games, but never mind. So we get a choice, we can either give it in for 2, 15, or try and get 300 out of him. You're not going to get 300, so go for the 15. There we go, put him down for an order, thank you very much. Cash in advance, and you're never getting your order, thank you. We have just scanned the guard, and now as long as we're wearing... This outfit, we can walk past him without worry. Now, let's head up here. Quickly pop into this room. And now we are going to do what I always say. Give it a save. Because we always save when we go into new areas. Okay, now that's done, what we're going to do is we are going to use, where have we gone? The servant's uniform, there we go. Thank you. And now we can head outside again. And um, we do need to be careful. First thing we want to do is go into the room here because there is a chest. And if we have a look inside, there's 50 marks in it. Thank you very much. And yeah, now we're going to have so let's head back out here and we'll head down and there is another guard around here. And if we are careful, we can quickly get past him. Yeah, I know. Nope. Into the room here. If we go into this room here and then come back, he should have moved on and conveniently forgotten about us. Let's hope I'm right. Yep, there we go, off he goes. So we've got past him there. And now we need to be careful because there is another guard around here. There he is. So let's try. Uh, nope, someone spotted us. Who spotted us? Which one was it? You. Never mind. Right, we're going to have to um, fight this one. Never mind. I mean, we'd have to fight at some point. There we go. Thankfully, because we didn't take much damage downstairs. We managed to get our health back. But it's okay. okay. Yeah, this one is a bit tougher. The higher up you go, then the harder they are to fight. But this one should be okay. And oh yeah, this isn't going to be good. That's a lot of health we've lost. Yeah, we might get some of that back, but we're not going to get it all. He had nothing on him. Right. Okay. And there's the other guard. Right. Thankfully, he doesn't see the body on uh, the floor, so I'm on an errand for one of your fellow soldiers. 
Okay, and what's the nature of this errand? He's the one you give the painting to, and I'll show you why in a moment. And um, where's that painting gone? There we go. What are you doing with that? You know the help isn't supposed to touch anything valuable. There we go, and now he disappears. So what I'm going to do now is we can search down here. Now, I remember correctly, most of these doors have guards in them, and it's a fight. But there you go, soon afterwards. There we go, this is where he went. Sir, I just received a new painting to add to the collection. Good work. Here, I wrote the combination to the vault on the back of this form. Memorise it now. I've memorised it. I'll keep it in this drawer if you need it again. I'm sure I won't. I have an excellent memory. Good. There we go. And that will help us out in a bit because... If we go down here, oh look, we have a load of paintings. Let's just have a quick nosy at some of them. See what there is. So... Dr. Fred and Nurse Edna on wedding day just before leaving for America. Very nice. And a German country house. And FIFA? FIFA? This is that. It looks all like someone's drop cloth. Yep, kind of agree with that one. Let's see. Oh no, that's still protecting the one at the back. Sunday in the park. Now, I'm no artist myself, or art lover really, so maybe someone can tell me if these are really the images that he says they are. Because, well, I wouldn't know. A couple of monsters from a cheap science fiction comic. Oh, very nice. We've got, what's this one? A mountain in the Swiss Alps. Seashore by Mark Ferrari, very good. And of course, we've got the Mona Lisa, but if you notice, it's a paint by numbers. Don't think Leonardo would appreciate this, but if we give this, no, if we give this picture a push, oh look, there's a vault there, but we don't know the combination. And how convenient that the corporal put the combination in a drawer in his office. So, let's head that way, but not quite yet, because we're just going to pop into here a minute, and I'm going to give it another quick save. And I've called this one oops because we've taken more damage than I was hoping for. So there we go. Play. Now, One of these rooms, if I'm not mistaken, I need to um, have something in it that we need, but I cannot remember which room it is, and that's why I saved it. I've done that one over there. These two have been done. There's guards in all. These, I think it might be this one up here. Right. Is it you? No. But let's carry on a minute. We've just saved it, so we're okay if we go wrong. Let's open the door a minute, let's have a look. Nope, and a guard. Okay, let's give him a beating. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see there, our health has dropped a lot after that last fight. So, it's okay, because even if we, as I say, we've got one thing these guards don't, and that's a save file. So, we've just saved it, never mind. We know not to come into this room again. 
So, after recovering consciousness, our hero, Indiana Jones, was forced to polish Hitler's ancient artifacts for the rest of Hitler's life. And since Hitler's people successfully located the Holy Grail, this was a very long time. Okay, see? And that's why we saved. Okay, so, right, let's get out of here and see which other rooms we could, it could be, because, I can't remember, let's just quickly check down here, just in case it is one of these and I missed it. I cannot remember which room it is that has the key in it, because I know one of them has got a key in for downstairs. Let's check. There we go, that's the one. Open there and have a look in. And there's a uniform in there. So let's just where's that uniform go? There it is. Look at the uniform. It's too small. But something in the pocket. And there we go, it's a key. Toss the uniform and keep the key, that's good to see. So, let's quickly head back downstairs now and pick up that other uniform. Small key in lock. Oh, okay. It's not for that one. Hmm. Okay, I thought it was. Let's head back upstairs then. Must be. Handy. First aid kit. Right. Again, we're going to do another save because we've got a bit further. And okay, while we're exploring, I'm not going to use the first aid kit. I'll use it in a bit when we need to. Right. Okay, nothing in here. Very elaborate room for nothing. back out. Okay, fine. Right. Door's locked. Does the key work in you? No. Okay. Right. And if I remember correctly, I can't remember now which one it was. Let's try you. Nope, there's a guard in it. Never mind. Right. See if we can beat him, because if we can't, then that's fine. Give us an extra place we can go without worry. Oops. Nah, I don't think we're going to get it. I think we... yeah. Okay, right, let's go back and try again. And that's one of the enjoyable things about this game. It doesn't matter how many times you muck up. You can always try again, but only if you save. So let's, let's try that other room out. As I say, I might have played this several times and completed it countless, but it's been that long, I've forgot. No, nope, this is later on, we need this room, okay. Yep, yeah. right. We could, I guess, use the health potion, the health potion, flipping it, long game, um, the med kit. But this, yeah, nah, he's a tough one. 
he is tough, you have to actually learn to talk your way past him. And we need that uniform downstairs. Right. You know what? Let's leave it and head upstairs. Actually no, let's use that med kit for now. So pick up the first aid kit. And then use it. Go. Full health. And up we go. Because I think there's a fight up here you cannot avoid. Yeah, you cannot avoid him. I'm not allowed up here apparently. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Step forward into a couple of punches. Step back. That's it. No, don't step forward after you step back. Yeah, there you go. Couple of nice hits. This one is pretty easy. Once you've telegraphed his moves, you know, it's easy to do. There we go. Not too much trouble, that one. He had nothing on him. Never mind. Right. Let's just make sure we don't get seen by anybody else. And then we'll pop into here. Ah, okay, so here we are in the commander's room, and the dog, okay, now this is what we got the rules for, for, but why is it not letting us click on anything? Okay, we forgot something. Should let me click on things, even if we can't. No, even if it's the wrong thing, it should still highlight that there's someone there. Okay, it's not good. Um, I hope this isn't a bug with the um, digital copy, because I don't remember having this issue ever before. I remember coming, you come in, you give the dog the ball, and you get the code out of there, and you pick up the trophy. You go back, you fill the trophy up, because outside, there is somebody you need to give the trophy to. But, not let me select the dog. Use... No. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's... Right, okay, so what is, is picking up. So... Why can I... Of course, give. Make sure you've got the right things up. I... That still bugs me though. I'm sure that if you go walk, and walk to dog, it should still pick the dog up. I don't know why it didn't pick up unless we had to give up, but... Never mind, figured it out in the end. Right. Pick up trophy. Open up this. There. Have a look inside. Travel pass with a combination on the other side. Thank you very much. We will take the pass. That will come in handy later on. And then we'll go back here. We will head back downstairs. I'm going to use that combination on the safe. Right, all the way back down. Now I need to figure out once I've done this bit, how um, we get that uniform, because you cannot progress without that uniform. Right, um, yeah, just open it, we should be okay. Yes, use the combination. There we go. Thank you. And there we go. This is the picture that we need to look at. 
because we need to make sure we keep an eye on that because that is the holy grail so let's pick up this painting okay now that's the one we had right we now need to memorize what that looks like because that is what the holy grail at the very end is going to look like so kind of half and half yellow dark yellow with right yeah very plain yeah, we know what it looks like in the film it does change slightly in this so hopefully we can remember that or at least indy can anyway can't remember if it was him or me you had to remember it if it's me well that's not going to be good. We're going to see lots of indie deaths at the end. Right, now. Let's just quickly pop back into the safe room a minute. Because I want to have a look at something. That key. It, uh, it's bugging me because I'm sure that's the key to get the uniform. So, where is the key? Oh, I would help if I used the correct key. The small key was the one for Henry's house. It's the brass key I've just picked up. Right. Duh. Never mind. Right. Should we try this again? I might have been able to actually avoid that fight if I'd used the right key before. Never mind. Use brass key in lock. Thank you. Right. Pick up the grey uniform. Head out, and again, we, want, we don't want to put it on yet, because of... Oh, wait a minute, now while we're down here, what we need to do, just thought, save us having to travel all around again. Pop back here, and we need to fill up the stein and the trophy with beer. So, use, where is it? There's the stein, so fill the stein up. And fill the trophy up. Finally, and just because I like to be horrible, Let's just let all that lovely, lovely bit drip out, spread over the floor, and be absolutely, totally wasted. And yet, you can actually stand there if you want and watch, and eventually it will stop and run out. So yeah, make sure you fill your trophy in your mug up before you decide to empty the barrel all over the floor. There we go. Actually, I think that just emptied there. Yeah, there we go. So, let's have a look. Uh, nope, it's not going to say anything. That's fine, but yep, it's run out. So, what we need to do now is head on out. And then head back upstairs and get changed. Okay, we'll go this way then, will we, Indy? Make your mind up. Right, get past our favourite guard, the only one still conscious that we've met, and quickly pop in here, and where's that uniform now, there we go, use grey uniform, and there we go, Indy in disguise as a German officer. Now, I'm not sure what would happen if we run into any of the guards in here. It automatically attack you while wearing this, but I'm not going to risk it. And what did I forget to do before um, we left that room? Never mind, I forgot to save it again. So let's quickly pop into here and we'll give it a save.
Okay, there we go. Nice and simple. Right. Back out here and check it. Yeah, halt, halt. Right. Let's have a look. I don't know why I said open it. I was meant to look at it. There we go. Nothing on there. Nothing else in here. Okay. While he's running to us, let's see if we can just try and get a few more rooms looked at. Nope, nothing in here. Right, don't think there's anything in here, but I always check anyway. Right there, I don't recognise it. You must be the intruder. There we go. And, yep, straight into a fist fight. Now, I'm, I'm sh I thought you could actually talk your way past him, but never mind, I guess not. But, even though he's meant to be one of the elites, he's not... Well, I say he's not that strong, but yeah, he kind of gets you into a corner and then, yeah, he's down. But 25 marks on him, not bad. Right, unfortunately, we've got no way of healing up. And we'll just pop in a minute. Don't think there's anything. No. So we're going to try a new save now. Just in case, because, well, you should always keep a backup just in case. Right, now, the reason we went and got that bear is for him. So let's see if we can give it to him. No one's allowed near the prisoner. Okay, we'll leave you. Nope. Okay, offer him an item. So here we go. Where's the trophy? Pass him the trophy. He then downs it all, becomes absolutely drunk because he can't handle his alcohol. And there is more, more alcohol coming out of that than can be held, but I'm not going to complain. There we go. Nice and drunk. Uh, that was <laughs> good, but I'll still <laughs> have to teach you <laughs> not to come up here. Okay, and one punch and he's down. There you go. Biff is an absolute monster if he put if he hits you. He can take you out in one hit. So what we need to do now is find the actually in fact we have forgotten something but i'll show you what we need it for in a minute so let's quickly so as you can see there that's got some wires on it so we need to be careful we don't need to open these doors yet that one's okay so we can go in there because there's no alarm on it nope that one's locked that's fine all these doors are locked, I think. Yep. So what we need to do in a minute is just check the rest of them out. I think there's only the one. But we need to turn the alarms off. We'll do that, actually. Just to be on the safe side. We've got this. What we can do in a do is come on. Yeah, that's how you get in. It's one of these is to get you into Henry's room. Yeah, that one that we've just been in. But something else out there in a minute. Yeah. What should you do with all those Nazis? Oh look, she's with the Nazis. What a shock, eh? Right, what we're going to do is that's now I know which room it is we need to get into in a minute. Let's head back down here and remember in the library I said that there were several books that we needed to find just to make things a bit easier. Well there's two ways to do this bit. One is going out that window in the room I was in a, a moment ago. Or number two is, if you get this uniform, well, when you get this uniform, you head up into this room with this fella. 
A visitor, life's been getting pretty boring. Okay, and if we give him a book, he likes Mein Kampf. Of course he does. My favourite book, and it's a first edition. There we go. Would you mind watching the lights while I reread my favourite passage? Okay, there we go. That's got rid of him. So, there we go. Alarm is there, and the reason we filled the stein up is because we're going to use it now with nothing because it's not oh, there we go, with the greeting on there. Pull that into there. That's going to fry it all, so there's now no security alarms. So now we can head upstairs and head through that door that had the, the alarms on it. You know, so I've not killed anyone yet. We've knocked a few out. No one's been killed. Not even Indy when he was beaten. Right. So let's see. Can we open the door? No, it is locked. Right. Um. Yep. So we are going to have to go outside. That's fine. So. Here we go. Open this window. Oh, okay, that one's not opening. Why not? Right, we need to find a window that opens there. But we know them three don't open, they're all locked. And we haven't got a key for any of them. Let's head back downstairs a minute, just by one, because I know the three rooms that are up there. The middle one we can we can climb out of. Okay, so we'll just do that. And we just need to figure out how we're gonna get up. So we're gonna go through the middle one, and no. Oh, okay, that one's locked. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, go through here. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to fight him. We don't have a choice. So let's just hope my health is enough to beat him. Yeah, it's not exactly hard when you're on full health, but unfortunately, when you're down, you're down. Right. So, it's a good job we did all them saves. Right. So there was nothing in here, was that? No. Thankfully we are on this floor again, so I think I'm just gonna double check a minute. Let's just double check everything. Locked. Okay, yeah. Is there No, I don't have any of them, so... No, I didn't think it was. Right! Uh, I hope I don't have to fight him to get past, because I've got no health now. That's going to be a bit of a issue when it comes to it. Check the other room again. Well, we know this one's these two are empty, so let's just see if any of these have got windows to the outside. Nope, didn't think they did. Never mind. Always check. We know there's a guard in there. So we don't want to go in there because we know there's a guard there. 
This door is locked, and this is the one we just got rid of the guard out of. Oh, okay. No, we haven't, not yet, because we reloaded, didn't we? Right, yeah. There we go. It's a good job we came back here then, isn't it? Right, um, where are you? There we go. Okay, so there we go again. Right. And let's go use you in there. Let's do that and no, there's no um windows in here. So let's um uh, try and think now, how do we get through? That's locked, there's a guard in there. There's nothing on the ground floor for us to climb through. And the only three doors that are up here are all locked. Yeah. None of them down there actually have anything. This is... That's the... Let's have a look. Can we... Yeah, I know that much. No. And I don't think any of these have now opened miraculously. No. Right. Got to try and think now how we get outside. There we go. I knew there was a window you could get to. Right, let's head outside. And um, no. Oh, yeah, let's get changed first. Right, no. Up here is one of the windows we need to get to. So let's just see if we can find a way to get to it. Um, can we. No, no, use. Can't reach the top okay. Um, use whip. No, okay. Hmm. I cannot remember, now I've got to figure out how do we get up. What have we got? Let's have a look. Money, uniform, book. I thought it would be the whip, but no. Hmm. Uh, I want to look at them. Yeah, oh my way, get onto it. Okay, so... Is there a 
way to answer the actual question. You can't reach it from here, but Push game. None of that. Yeah, I, I thought it was the whip to be honest, but no. That's not what I carry a whip for, okay. Um, I'm completely stuck. This is nothing. No. Well, that was lucky that there was no one in there, isn't it? Alright. Uh, see which door that brings me out of. Uh, the middle one. Oh, look, it's locked. Okay, right. So, yeah! Okay, that's got me stumped now. Have. Uh, I've been in all the rooms. I have checked. Everywhere I can think of. Let's get back out here a minute. Just close the windows for now. That sounds stupid, but maybe it's something as simple as that. Can't see that being the case, but. You know what? I'll tell you now, it's going to be something simple that I've looked at. Um, there's probably people there screaming at me, telling me what it is. So, yeah, I am stumped for a moment. I'm going to have to think about this. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, with Indy stuck on the ledge, and me stuck on how to get Indy to get over, and his father only just above us, I think that is a good place to stop for today. As I say, this series is meant to be just short little clips and episodes. They're not meant to be really big long ones. So, yeah, join me again next week where we will figure out how to get Indy up to the top floor. But in the meantime, I've been Frank for This has been Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time, goodbye!